One of the pervasive ideas we are exposed to in the world of online genetics is that the main HERC2 mutation for blue eyes, RS1291832, let's call it BEH2 for simplicity's sake as this is the nomenclature I typically use on my YouTube channel to refer to the RS1291832, GG plus RS1129038, AA Genoset only appeared 10,000 years ago and is only present in populations with Western hunter-gatherer admixture. This is not only the single most important variation for eye color, but also for hair coloring, which is a nuance many people on the internet seem to miss. There is no genetic variation more strongly predictive of blonde hair than HERC 2s RS1293832. There is also no genetic variation more strongly predictive of blue eyes than HERC-2's RS1291382. Anyway, I do not believe that derived genotype in BEH2 occurred 10,000 years ago, nor do I believe that it is only found in populations mixed with Western hunter-gatherers. Here is why. Number one point I'd like to discuss is the presence of BEH2's RS1291383 G allele in an individual from Sharaisokta in Bronze Age Iran, I11456. This individual did not have Western hunter admixture, only Iranian Neolithic farmer and AASI, yet had AG genotype in RS1291382. Another such example is Satserblia Caucasian hunter gatherer who had AG genotype in BEH2's RS1291382. This individual also did not have Western hunter-gatherer admixture. If this mutation occurred 10,000 years ago, and is only present in Western hunter-gatherers or populations mixed with Western hunter-gatherers, then how do you explain its presence in unmixed Native Americans? According to the PAGE study, among unmixed Central Americans, the frequency of the G allele is 17.6%. For comparison, among South Central Asians who actually do have WHG ancestry through corded wear, the frequency is only 14.7%. According to HGDP's study, this variant is found at a frequency of 13% among Native Americans. According to the largest database for Native American allele frequencies, or NAMAD database, this variant is found in Native Americans at a frequency of 24.7%. Out of all databases for Native American allele frequencies, you actually will not find a single one which would list the derived allele frequency for BEH2 at lower than 10%. For Chileans, who are majority Native American in origin, the frequency of the derived variant is 25.7%. Keep in mind that such frequency means that only around half of Chileans do not have the mutation, and the other half have either one or two derived variants. The only explanation for this phenomenon involves the presence of this mutation in ancient North Eurasians, which would explain its presence in Caucasian hunter-gatherers, Bronze Age Iranians, and Native Americans. And to follow up on this preposition, if both ancient North Eurasians and Western hunter-gatherers had derived variants in BEH2, then that means that BEH2 mutation occurred earlier than 10,000 years ago, and had been present in Eurasian populations since at least the Upper Paleolithic.